Go. I wonder what people look for when they moor up. Is it the scenery? Is it peace and quiet? Is it to be near shops? Um, internet? For me, ideally, I like a little bit of open space so I can maximise on the on the solar panels. And to do that, the boat needs to be facing north or south. Sun rises in the east, sets in the west. Therefore, the solar panels can can point towards the sun for longer periods of time. Bit of internet, if I want to watch the telly. And so far, I haven't done too bad. I'm with Vodafone, and they claim to to have 99% of the country in in uh, with internet facilities. Uh, by and large, I think there's one place I struggled a little bit, and that was Fenny Stratton. Actually, it took me ages to download a video onto onto the tube. But other than that, the, the fact is I still could. But other than that, it's been great. So, open space, pointing north or south, ability to use the sun if it's out, and uh, peace and quiet. I saw today two kingfishers. Never seen a kingfisher before. Two of them, like buses and a pylon. This lady here has got a towpath covered down and she's on the canal side. And as I passed her, I said, oh, can I film you? She goes, okay. Um, so I had to steady the boat. I had to do make sure that I didn't bump into her boat and do some filming. And anyway, here she is doing some lovely work, lovely painting, and, and my boat's moving her boat and she's still able to paint. I think it's absolutely amazing. Her name is uh, uh, Marie Charles, and she's an artist, and she does Rosalie Canal art. Oh, link below. But I think she's brilliant at what she does. Have a have a look if you want to buy anything. Great. Now, as you know, I'm new to this boat in Malarkey, and I've got a swing bridge, which is easy enough. However, you open it from there, which is not on the towpath side. So if I open the swing bridge, I'm at the wrong side. So I've made myself a cup of tea while I sit and ponder how to go about it.
a challenge because what I needed to do was to tie the boat up there on that bollard, make sure it's far enough forward and then close the swing bridge. I've just seen another fella on that lock further down so we're going to wait for him and save him the fat. There's some boats coming out that lock, so Kieran and I had to well, mark time on the water in that pound whilst we're waiting. Property for a what do they call it? A lock keeper's cottage. Lovely. I like all the ivy around the front of it. I've noticed very thin. Anyway, very nice. Now there's a big boat with almost I don't know, looks like a a shop on the back. You know one of them kiosky type things? Looks nice though. Quite a congested part of the canal. Boats either side, umbrellas, barbecues, small boats, big boats, black boats, green boats, and a primer boat. Now this is the other side of Marsworth and behind that white building there is a cafe. Stopped there a few times on a bike ride. Little did I know, well I kind of did know, that um, I'd end up down here. But it's a bit surreal. Areas that I used to cycle, I'm now boating. And that pub there was called the Anglia's Anglers, not the Anglia's, the Anglers Retreat. Never went in that pub, but it was always quite a nice pub by the by the canals. Don't know why it closed. It's on a difficult junction, humpbacky bridge, but then other pubs are in the same location. Those hills in the background are Holton Hills or Wendover Woods or something or other that's in the back there. I used to run over there. Knackering. I was going on about when I was at Foxton Locks how the train trackers used to have to do cuttings and stuff and dig through the cuttings. Well, look at this. This is heading towards Tring and all of this has been cut. And I'm, wow, I can't help but be one, impressed and two, feel sorry and understand the hard the hard life that people as navvies would have been. It's just George Orwell's book, The, the Road to Wigan Pier, worth a read. It's what life was like 100 years ago. Not that long in historical terms. There's a boat back there that had music lessons anywhere.net. And we're at um, Cal Roast Marina ish just coming up to it anyway. I wonder how much trade they get. And it's a great idea. And I wonder what sort of music lessons. Drum lessons? I saw a boat some time ago. They had a massive drum kit. Okay, it's a white beam, but it had a massive drum kit inside it. Not gonna ruin the neighbor's point of view, I don't suppose, but um, music lessons anywhere. Trumpet, piano, violin. Could be anything. I wonder if that's a privately owned boat or from Fuller's Independent Breweries who brew beer. It's a works boat that people can hire. Don't know. Nice though. Tonight's dinner is chicken stir fry with, I don't know what to do, egg noodles. So I've got some of this stuff here. 
I uh, I deal with noodles and rice and doing it with noodles because it takes three minutes. And there's the pan for the noodles and there's the pan for the chicken and the rice goes you know what I mean. Bit of balsamic vinegar. Don't know what it tastes like. Just put it in. Splash here, splash there. Add noodles, which are these things here from from wherever. Put them in there, three minutes. They've been in a couple of minutes. So hopefully it should all be ready on time. Lovely. I've eaten one meal <clears throat> in a pub. And to be honest, it was the um, I can't Red Line or something with a can't remember. It was it was a pub pub which I had burger and chips and it was well cooked, but it was just a pub meal and probably not even as good as a Weatherspoon's pub meal. I would much rather eat on the boat than actually go out for a pub because there's been some lovely cooking. I'm not saying I'm a good chef at all but I'm just a blokey type cook cooking blokey type food this was just a chicken stir fry with noodles a bit of side salad honey and mustard dressing I think it was really nice I think anyone would say that's really nice that's... I don't think I'm gonna be doing pub foodie type stuff there's some other fella that does you know pub of the week or whatever it is um, you know Absolutely, I'm not really into that sort of style of of life. I don't do pubs necessarily. I know me and Tony did a did a Come bit, on, Chris. but we got smashed before we went to the pub. Well, I don't remember eating anything there either. So I'm considering doing a or part of this channel, Feed Me Friday. If you're interested in doing some, not you know, won't be, it will be about five minutes long, and that's it. You know, this is what I do. This is how I cook it, eat it, job done. If you're interested in in understanding what blokey type food I eat, comment below, and I'm listening to a bit of Rodney Stewart, the American Songbook. I do like a little bit of Rodney. D just been shopping in Tesco's Tesco is a um, supermarket for those who don't know what Tesco is and um, it's all air conditioned in there and then when I come out well you might as well have been in the Mediterranean somewhere on a cruise because you've got out looking out the window you have well there's the odd bird water bird tweeting or making a noise. I don't know what they are. I know what a swan is, I know what a duck is, but then there's the little types, there's the coots, and then there's another type, and I can't tell the difference really. And there's some fish swimming. But what I wanted to try and say is just been lovely. Bit of cruising, tired. Go to Tesco, air conditioned, come out, might as well been in the Mediterranean. Crete, Italy, Spain, Ibiza, Malta, all those sort of places that, that have this lovely warm weather. We've got it today and we had it yesterday and I think the day before. But it's just, it's just lovely. It is. It's nice. And down there, there's some blokes fishing. And there's some fishy type bubbles coming up. There's another one. look at them. Look at them fishy type bubbles. See, those guys there, wrong location. They are. All the fish are here, look. I also have worked out they like Pringles. I threw the scraps of Pringles in the canal the other day. Loved them. So if you're a fisherman's friend, Pringles attracts the fish. The, just the salt Pringles. Those fellas down there, don't think they know that, because all the fishes are here. Need to get myself a rod. <laughs> I 
Well, I am, I'm going to get myself a rod. Messed about with the white balance of the camera. Anyway. I've seen these before. This is quite a small one, a small one. You know, one of those lifeboat things. I've seen some really big ones. You know, the one that was on, um, Tom Hanks was in. Can't remember what film that is, when he was being taken prisoner. Anyway, I'd love to go in one, but, and here's the big but, I would do it on the ocean. I think it's one of those boats, <laughs> actually, is built for the ocean. It can go anywhere on the ocean, and I think I should be on one on the ocean. I don't think that will ever happen, but love to do it, love to do it. If you have one of these boats and you're going to put it on the ocean, give us a shout, will you? Love to, love to accompany you. I'd, I'd just do the cooking or, or the sweeping or... Yeah, you know what I mean. Just be a crew member. Brilliant. So many days is yet to come. Too many times has come to Going under the M25 bridge. I've never been under the M25 bridge, and what I was surprised about was the amount of scaffolding that was knocking about. But I don't know what really what they're doing. So if you want to know what's under the M25 bridge and how it's built, well, there's concrete plinths and steel girders and rivets holding it all together. Lost to ocean's gentle hand Through the sunrise I will thrive Getting out alive Getting out alive When you find that open door You gotta let them love you more Tender hearts will always fight The darkness of area with a little bit of a weir over there which running water a bloke at my age could be a bit of a tester however it's a beautiful area sun's out beautiful in the shade lovely and rumpus going by although I have travelled today through the hottest part of the day and it's taken out on me to be fair. Hello mate, how you doing alright? It's the first time I have um, filmed in the office actually and I said I was going to film quite a lot in the office and it's a really nice place to do your editing to do your to, to set up the camera and, and all that sort of stuff i really like it 
and um, what I'm not happy with at the moment is the this this channel this boaty channel thing going out on a Tuesday I'm giving strong consideration to it going on a Wednesday to be put out on a Wednesday I think it adds a little bit more of a gap between Sandbag Sunday which is almost a, an immovable task the title kind of gives that that problem to me really so I'm gonna slip the boaty the boaty vlogs to Wednesday if that's all right with you I think it gives a little bit more of a gap this channel will continue clearly um, but it will go out on a Wednesday here on in so next week be Wednesday and uh, I'm really starting to enjoy enjoy the boaty malarkey it's it's start I'm starting to to get to grips with what's going on how life is going to evolve how life is going to to mature if you like I like it I like it a lot anyway um, thanks for watching thanks for liking thanks for subscribing next week more boaty stuff but it's about Uxbridge see you next week Thank you.